Hi you guys, it's Karen with Love Your Land. And uh, I'm pretty darn excited. This is like the best week between the contest yesterday or, and Friday over the weekend. And today, um, I'm happy. Uh, it's time to, to transplant these peppers. And uh, how can you tell? Well, I mean, you can tell just kind of by looking at them that they're, that they're definitely big enough to be transplanted. Um, but you can also tell, because I use these see-through cups so for example, let me bring this one up to you so you can see what I'm seeing. These cups are great because you can see, not only can you see that it, there's moisture in here, so it does not need to be watered. Of course, I just watered it. Um, but you can also see this pretty extensive root system. If I let this go any longer than this, these would get root bound. I mean, it's, I would say that's pretty much, I'm just not gonna call it root bound, <laughs> but uh, I've let them go a little too long at this point, but that's all right. They're gonna be just fine. Obviously this plant is not struggling at all. Um, so when I transplant it, it's just gonna be happy as a clam. And these were started on December 15th. Yep, they're slow pokes. Okay, so before I bring you in close to the close up of this, um, I wanted to point out a few things to people who are new, new on the scene here, uh, or new on the scene of gardening. So the first thing I do when I'm gonna transplant is I water, I make sure that they're well watered. Um, especially if I have, like in this case, in this case I have two in each pot and I am gonna separate them. I, wa I don't want them to be dry. And I know some people do it that way and that's perfectly fine, whatever works for you. But what works for me is if they're nice and watered and moist, then that soil will just sort of fall away from the, you know, they'll be able to, fall away from each other and they're going to be kind of entangled so you'll, you may hear a little bit of a crunching. Um, the other thing that I've gone ahead and done is I mixed up um, a gallon of soil with my trifecta of course and I also took this bowl over to the sink and, and literally watered it to make sure that it was really really moist. So now it is. So when these plants get transplanted their the soil in here is going to match the soil in here and it's just going to sort of they're going to blend more easily there's not going to be any sort of well there wouldn't be a water table anyway because the soil mediums are the same but they're just going to be able to acclimate a lot easier all right so oh and the other thing is these little clippers we're going to need these because i'm actually going to be pruning these as well so that's it let me bring you in close and uh we'll get started okay so i'm going to start with sort of the easy one here first uh, because there's only one in here, there's only one plant. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your pot and put maybe just a couple inches of soil down there. I think this goes to right about there. And then I'm going to take my little plant here and I'm going to, I want to bury the stem down. It doesn't need to be buried as as deeply as a tomato plant because it's not going to grow roots all over the whole thing but definitely down here these things I want to bury it up to about probably let's see about here so I'm going to take these off down here snip that guy off that guy and let's see I think I'll leave this longer one on actually just take off these bottom leaves down here okay, and then make sure you get those out of there there's a little guy down here I'm gonna pinch off okay now I'm gonna oops I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my pot I'm gonna squeeze the pot a little bit hold it over oopsie hold it over this pot and yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice root system. It's not root bound yet. That's good. And now I'm just going to gently set it down in the pot. See if you, I'm trying to see if you can still see this while I'm doing it. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, and now I'm just going to gently add soil around the base of it. Again, the soil already has my trifecta mixed in, um, which is definitely the way you want to go. So I just put some in and then I kind of jiggle it around. Add a little more. Um, yeah, you definitely want your trifecta to, or whatever plant food you choose to use. I only use trifecta myself, but you want your plant food to be mixed in to your soil before you 
transplant if you can, because your plants are going to, um, the soil, you know, you don't want this, the plant food to just be on top. You really want it to be um, everywhere where the roots can reach it. So if it's just on top, uh, it's going to take a while for it to get watered in and your plants aren't going to be able to utilize it as soon. So I'm not really pressing down. I'm just barely patting it down just to make it even. Um, and that's actually enough. So we'll just stop with it there. So now um, he's, he's buried all the way down there to those guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prune the growth tip off of this plant. And what is the growth tip? The growth tip is, well, obviously it's the, the growth tip. It's up here. Um, but the growth tip contains a hormone that actually suppresses lateral growth. Um, I've explained this in prior videos. If you think of the forest, trees are competing for light. And so they're all trained to go up. They've, they have this growth tip so that the plant will grow up towards the light. In this case, we do want it to grow big and, and grow up. But for now, what I want it to do is I want it to bush out. And so if I take this t growth tip off, it's going to allow for lateral growth. This is lateral, lateral growth here. And as soon as I snip this off, within a week, you're going to start seeing um, new buds pop out of these stems. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to take this little guy right here and I'm actually going to take it right there. So I'm, going to, I'm actually going to be removing this leaf too that I'm holding. See how that's sort of right there. Okay. So I just took that off. That's what the growth tip looks like up close. You can kind of see in the middle there's some more growth that was you know, new growth that was trying to grow and grow up. So that's good. Now this guy looks, you know, not as fantastic as he did a minute ago, but I, I can assure you that in a week and I'll, of course, I'll be showing you pictures. Um, you're going to see lateral growth on the sides of this plant and it's going to make it stronger and bushier. On to the next one. So this is, these are banana peppers and there's two of them in here and I do want to separate them. So in this case, I'm going to obviously take two pots. And same thing, I'm just going to put a little bit of soil on the bottom, a couple of inches. Okay. I think this one has a little less. Now I think it has more. Oh, well, that's all right. And now I'm going to take out anything that's fallen down here, which it has. And again, again, I'm going to snip off these bottom leaves because I don't want them buried. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. I'll take this guy off. And I think that one too. Okay. Oh, I don't think you could see all of that what I just did, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so now I've, I've removed any stems or leaves up to about here on both of them. So now I'm going to do the same thing, squish this little pot. Whoops, that's okay. Dump it upside down. And this one is definitely uh, more entangled. It's not a problem, um, but if you hear any screams, don't worry. Okay, so I'm just going to, I know what I have to get at here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And I know it's going to be hard for some of you to watch, but it, they will be okay, I promise. I'm just going to kind of separate the roots so they each get sort of even amounts. And I'm going to put them in their pots. See, it wasn't so bad. It just looks scary. And now I'm going to give them both more soil. These guys are going to flourish um, with what I've just done here. And again, you know, I'll show you. Um, I definitely am going to need to make more soil, so I don't think this guy is going to have enough on camera, but that's okay. You're still going to get the idea. And I'm going to do a couple more things before we're done for the full transplant pruning maintenance of these little guys. So I'll put in what I have in this other pot just to sturdy them up and then I'll, I'll come back and add more off camera. But for now, that will hold him. 
I have a little more in here. All right, so you just hang tight there, mister. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna do a couple things. First of all, um, I wanna remove that growth tip, which is, where is it? Oh, it already forked, so it's kind of hard to tell. So in fact, on this one, I'm not gonna remove that just yet because I don't really have a, a clear growth tip on this. Let's see if I move this, you can see this plant better with the white background. You see how it's already forked? That's excellent, that's a great, great thing. But this on camera may look like it's the growth tip. It's not, it's actually forking too, if I turn this around so you can see. See how there's that hole in the middle? So I'm just gonna let this plant be for now. It really doesn't need to be pruned, but these little, let me show you this up close. These little buds, these are flowers. You do not want your pepper plants flowering at this stage or trying to. So just go through and pinch those off. Whoopsie. So they don't have any. I think they're forming some in there too, um, but that's okay. They're too small right now for me to get to them. Um, but that's it. These plants are going to be super happy. There. So that wasn't so bad, was it? I know uh, a lot of you are afraid to prune your plants, and I, I get why. Um, but just pay attention to this page or this channel on this page, the Love Your Land page, and you'll watch these guys flourish. They will not be worse for the wear. They'll be healthier and bushier and stronger, and they'll be far, in far better shape when they go outside. So um, don't be afraid to prune your plants. Except, you know, in this case, I didn't prune. So you can also make that judgment call. They're your plants. You can do whatever you want. Um, also, I want to mention, mark them right away because I guarantee in 10 minutes, I won't know who's who. I mean, I might in this case because that one's pruned, but just mark my words, you're going to forget. So do that. Um, also, as with any transplant um, situation, and in this case, this was kind of a double whammy for these guys. This guy got um, transplanted and pruned. This guy got buddy ripped apart from them and then transplanted. Um, so to avoid them going into shock, set them out of direct sunlight for about 24 hours. And then after that point, you know, a day or two even, you can leave them there for two days, that's fine. And then go ahead and put them right back under the lights and they'll be happy as clams. So as always, if you have any questions, um, uh, post a comment below or go over to Facebook at the Love Your Land page and ask me there and I will answer you. All right, talk to you soon, bye. Hey, I forgot to say, you need to water your little transplants after you transplant them. So make sure you do that. Water them in pretty well. And then go ahead and set them aside for the 24 to 48 hours to let them settle in. All right, see ya.